I was 24 year old. The time of the emergence of Pakistan. I saw the Union Jack coming down for the last time. And I saw the Pakistan flag going up to see. I was young, full of ambition, full of idealism, and full of hope and full of expectations. Actually, I didn't believe. I didn't believe that a day is not far off when we will have, when the British will leave the subcontinent and Muslims will have the chance to establish their own sovereign, independent, progressive country. I never believed it. It came as a big surprise, you see. 14th August was a big surprise, you see. And, uh, you know, Mr. Jinnah, whom I saw several times, I first saw him in Minto Park when the Pakistan resolution was moved and passed, you see. That is where I saw him first time. Then I saw him in Peshawar before he became a governor general. And I was in service under the Raj. I was a, a judge in the provincial judicial service. But I, I came to know that Mr. Jinnah was coming to Peshawar. So I took a day's leave and go and find the crowd. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of Pakhtuns sitting in Cunningham Park. I also went and sat there. And, you know, he had spoken Urdu, but his, <laughs> his Urdu was no better than that of the Pakhtun, you see. And people who were sitting there, and lakhs of people, they turned to me and they said, what is he saying? And then they answered the question. Whatever he says is right, we'll follow him. He had won them over, you see. And he didn't have to say anything. And this was, and you, you must, I must tell you something else. At the time of uh, independence, the KPK, the province to which I belong, it had a Congress ministry, a red shirt ministry, which was dead against Pakistan. The, when, we, when I went to Aligarh from Lahore, Mr. Jinnah used to come there at least twice a year. And he came only to meet the students, not the staff. And I remember distinctly what he said, used to say. He says, I've tried, you know, to keep Hindus and Muslims together. I have tried to, I'm, you know, they call me the ambassador of the unity of Hindus and Muslims. This is how Sarojini Naidu described him, you see, Mr. Jinnah. He said, 
I have tried my best, but I have now come to this conclusion that after the British are gone, the Hindus are going to treat Muslims very, very badly, very shabbily. You see. And he said, therefore, I have come to this conclusion that the, in those areas where Muslims are in a majority, we must have a separate state of our own, you see. You know, this was not Mr. Jinnah's idea. It was Iqbal's idea. And the destiny of Muslims lies in the establishment of a Muslim state in those areas where the Muslims are in majority. You know? He was referring to KPK and Punjab and Sindh and Balochistan and perhaps also East Pakistan. Pakistan. 